We're here at the New Hampshire International Speedway for the Camping World RV Sales 301, the third race in the Reebok Cup Series. Now let's take a look at your starting lineup. In row 1, we have the 99 car of Carl Edwards and the 5 car of Casey Kane. In row 2, we have the 18 of Kyle Busch and the 11 of Denny Hamlin. In row 3, we have the 14 of Tony Stewart and the 16 of Greg Biffle. In row 4, we have the 48 of Jimmy Johnson and the 2 Ford of Brad Keselowski. In row 5, we have the 20 of Matt Kenseth and the 15 of Clint Boyer. And it, starting in row 6, we have the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the 1 car of Jamie McMurray. In row 7, we have the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and the 9 of Marco Sambros. And rounding out the field, in row 8, we have the 21 car of Trevor Bain. So the field's coming off to start the third race in the Reebok Cup Series. We're green flag here in New Hampshire. Casey Kane gets a good jump on the restart, and Denny Hamlin's going to go under Carl Edwards for second, and he's going to make the pass. Clint Boyer is also going to make his way past him into third. Now here comes Hamlin's going to make a move for the lead on Casey Kane, and he converts. Denny Hamlin takes the lead here in New Hampshire. Greg Biffle making his way up as well as Matt Kenseth now, as Biffle's into second. Denny Hamlin leads another lap here. We've got a spin. It's the one of Jamie McMurray, and he takes out the nine of Marcus Ambrose. McMurray drives away, but Ambrose is up against the wall. Here's another look at. Looks like going into turn three, the 99 gets into the one and spins around. Ambrose nowhere to go. This is what happened under caution. The one obviously not happy with the 99 as we go back underway on lap five. Kane does not get a good jump, and Johnson's going to take advantage on the inside. Now Johnson's going to go under Biffle for second now with four laps to go. Biffle makes a move on Johnson, and he takes the second position back now. Stenhouse Jr. coming up the field. And now three laps to go. Here's on board with Greg Biffle. Here he goes. He's going to make the pass on Denny Hamlin for the lead. Coming to two laps to go. Biffle and Hamlin in front with two laps to go. Hamlin closes in going through turn one. Now Biffle pulls away. Will Hamlin have time to make a move here? Coming to the white flag. It's the final lap here in New Hampshire. Hamlin, will he try to make a move? Going through turn three. There he goes. Off at turn four. It's so close, but Biffle gets him for the victory here in New Hampshire. So Greg Biffle gets the victory in a photo finish over Denny Hamlin. Gets his first win of the season. Denny Hamlin comes a very close second. Johnson moved his way up to third there after he started in the back. Stenhouse Jr. started on in row seven and came home fifteenth or fifth. Clint Boyer needed sixth. That was a great finish that he needed. Dale Earnhardt Jr. not what he wanted. Marcus Ambrose he'll take a huge hit to the points here. Dead last. As Kyle Busch will come ninth, Casey Kane dropped the whole way to 11th after leading part of this race. So Denny Hamlin is a points leader by six points over Greg Biffle. With just two races to the chase, the, the race is tightening up here. It's just one point separates Jimmy Johnson from Kyle Busch. And Marcus Ambrose fell the whole way from second to tenth with that last place finish there. Junior falling down, and Clint Boyer is making his way up, but he's going to have a long way to go if he wants to make it in.